What is up guys, Ryan Future here, welcome to Spartan Alliance, and this is some WWE 2K14 gameplay, leaked by Backyard Gaming, I don't know if it's leaked or not, but whatever, it's the first I've seen of it, I haven't seen anyone else post it, I'm going to try to post it myself, and uh, he had his commentary over it, and I just don't want to play a bunch of shitty music, I want to actually explain what's going on, and just kind of talk about what I'm expecting out of this game. We have Ric Flair here putting in the figure 4 lock to Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 24. Figure 4 has been games in the past, especially this one. This one I think is actually labeled figure 4 number 1. But then Shawn Michaels taps out. That new breaking point submission meter thing, it makes it look a lot more cleaner. Shawn Michaels leaving and Ric Flair crying. And yes, we did see this in the trailer, but we did not see this much of it in the trailer. We saw just a little bit of Ric crying in the ring but here we see him like saying his goodbyes or whatever to the WWE universe them panning through the crowd multiple times and it's just a very cinematic scene and it looks like it was done very well and uh here we have Andre entering with Bobby's brain here and that trash being thrown at him just adds a little bit of a uh, realism to it then Heenan on the outside, and then here, the two are going to push back and forth. Andre pushes Hogan, Hogan pushes Andre. Charles Robinson going back in time to be the referee for all these matches. I think he's kind of like part of the Michael, or he's part of the uh, JR and Jerry Lawler package. It also comes with Charles Robinson. And then we have Miss Elizabeth, Randy Savage, and Hulk Hogan celebrating. Again, we didn't see this much of the celebration before. So if anything, this is more just an extended cinematics package. And then Spear through the table. And we'll see more of this match coming up later. But you can see kind of the guys' reactions. It's just how well they're done. And then here, Razor Ramon holding the two titles above. I need to check if the referee really does, because I never saw that match. I always heard really good things about it. But anyway, super kick by Shawn Michaels. Looking really good on Ric Flair. Cinematic, obviously, because they wouldn't have this like this. Shawn is a hairy chest in this game. But that's the third attire that I've seen now for Shawn Michaels, too. But then elbow, people's elbow from The Rock to John Cena. Same animation as always. And then here, rock bottom by The Rock to Stone Cold. WrestleMania 17 match. And then here, Rey Mysterio making his entrance. And we're going to see a little bit of Rey Mysterio gameplay against Dolph Ziggler, I believe. But Rey Mysterio missing the uh, question mark on that attire for some reason. I mean, that's just one of those... It makes no sense why not to have it, so it's more like they just missed it and figured, oh well, it's late. To, it's too late to go back and Rey Mysterio is not a key character in the game, so let's not worry about it. Hopefully people won't notice, but if you haven't actually seen that attire, just type in Rey Mysterio blue Captain America attire, whatever it'll probably come up as. And same 619 as always, I really wish that they'd give us a new animation for that, where instead of doing this a splash or whatever, he just drops the dime off the off of the uh, turnbuckle but yeah here and then frog splash in the new raw arena and he wins and he gets a nice little winning animation that's one thing that I always wish they hope to include in games Austin making his uh, WrestleMania 17 entrance I hope that they always include good like win animations for the guys because and I also wish that one year they would just allow you to pick like even if it's just out of lists of like 10 15 win animations that you can do Ring around the rosy. Up, oh, walks into a rock bottom by the stone cold. But no, just pick your win animation for your custom superstar because it gets really boring seeing some of those guys do like the win animations. Like, have you ever seen a call Andre or a call Yokozuna go up to the top rope to celebrate running around the ring? They wouldn't do that. But anyways, cinematic stone cold pins rock. It's a two count. And then here, beating The Rock with the chair, and Mr. McMahon is there, so, and it's the same character model from last year. Then again, I think all three of these guys have the same exact character models from last year. But, uh, so it makes you wonder how Mr. McMahon's going to be included in the game. Also, another thing, Roddy Piper included in the game. Yes or no? I want your guys' opinion on that. Do you think he's actually going to be included in the game, or if he's just going to be in the trailers and not in the game? Or do you think he's going to be DLC? My vote is DLC. Because of the fact that they haven't announced him yet, and they usually announce the DLC at a later date. Then we have the Daniel Bryan, no, no, no. 
the crowd doing or the crowd's arms going up along with him going no 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 or yes 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 etc and then here when he does that taunt he actually yells out no 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 that's one of those things where last year kind of got weird when you'd see their mouths moving to uh, do or to say stuff and they wouldn't say anything so like for Ryback now he says wake up CM Punk I'm assuming he's gonna say it's clobbering time stuff like that it's just that little extra touch of realism and now yes lock locked in I still I still don't like to call it the yes lock I still like to call it crippler crossface because that's pretty much all it is it's basically just the crippler crossface but with the PG name And uh, the new Raw Arena looking good. And then here we go on to Edge versus Mick Foley. WrestleMania 22. Mick Foley making his entrance here. And as you can see, Lita is on the outside. So Lita it was confirmed in the trailer. And she is confirmed in this gameplay here. As you can see, Lita down there. WrestleMania 22 Arena looks great. All of the arenas that they've showed so far look absolutely fantastic. And here, Baseball Bat's a new weapon. I'm assuming that behaves like the Kendo Sticker or Sledgehammer, one of the two. And then here, Clothesline, all three of them go out of the ring. Bang bang. McFoley, let's see what he's planning on doing here now. Lita with the lighter fluid and the lighter on the table as she lights up the table for Edge and McFoley. Edge standing right there looking to put McFoley through. McFoley, though, stops himself. And now Edge. Spear! 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 Spear through the table. That cinematic is really awesome. But yeah, all the arenas that they've done so far look awesome. I wish they would add, I wonder if they're going to add more stages for a uh, create a s arena this year. If they're going to add like the stages that are in the game for the WrestleManias or if they're going to add at least the stages from last year's game. Also makes you wonder though, are they still going to have the SummerSlams, the Vengeance, whatever, the Payback Arena, Extreme Rules. Are they still going to have all those in there? Cuz I'm assuming that they are, but you never know. Then here, Dolph Ziggler. And uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, Mandible Claw, I believe, is now a uh, submission hold. If that's what I just saw. Maybe it was just the... It might have just been the choke thing from uh, Kane last year. I'm not sure. I didn't really... I really wasn't paying attention. But Dolph Ziggler, that entrance that he does is just amazing. And then... These two guys are probably the two that I like the most from the people that we've seen so far for current guys Dumb and Ryback it looks like they just gave a complete overhaul and uh, running out of time now we're just gonna see the end of this match we're gonna see snap DDT or jumping DDT by Dolph Ziggler and guys as always make sure to like and subscribe for more I'm Ryan Future you guys have a nice day and now zigzag animation and I am out